Could it ever be possible for your cat to survive without you, without your love and affection, and without the essentials that your cat has come to expect from your care? Could a house cat make it without people? And on the flip side, a feral cat born in the wild? Is it possible for a feline of that status to make it in the world free of human protection and assistance? How long would a cat that lives off the land truly survive without that human touch and everything that offers? In this material, I'll cover both sides of this coin in an effort to truly find out if cats can survive all by themselves. Does your cat really need your care, or is it simply something they've come to expect? Hmm. Interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. I'll kick things off with somewhat of a harsh truth. Cats are pretty much built for the storm. They enter the world that way. Having a cat as a pet is really just the cherry on the sundae in terms of the feline world. Most cats love it, but they don't always need it. I talk a lot about instincts here on the channel and how cats from an incredibly young age start to learn the ways of the world, their world. Little by little, they acquire the tools they need to survive. Those natural instincts become refined and focused. This is certainly thanks to the teaching of Mama Cat, but also some trial by fire, baptism by fire, if you will, going at it all alone. When I think of felines and their ability to learn the ropes when it comes to the basics, I'm always thinking of campers and hikers, more than just the casual adventurers, but rather the expert types, people that can live off the land for weeks or months at a time and just not bat an eye. They are skilled and they carry a lot of smarts, but they also carry a lot of knowledge just based on their own personal experiences in the great outdoors. Cats, in many ways, they're a lot like these skilled outdoors types. If you're a regular hunter, camper, or hiker, you know what I mean. And while some cats are certainly more skilled than others, all cats enter the world with certain instincts that lean them towards a bit of a self-reliant and self-sufficient lifestyle. Cats are independent. That's a stereotype that's been around forever. And by and large, it's very much true. Cats, just generally speaking, many of them want to be around people, sure, but they don't really need people, and that makes a big difference. Of course, with the groundworks now in place surrounding what cats sort of truly are at their core, essentially, and how they do carry the tools to be successful without us people, how does that really translate when it comes to putting it all into practice? The topic of can cats survive by themselves requires a ton, and I do mean a ton, of proper context. For example, if your 10-year-old house cat, only time outside ever, is being transported to and from the vet, if they were to go outside unsupervised, what would probably happen? How much time would pass before your cat would encounter a problem, came face to face with danger? Honestly, probably not too long. And while this is not to suggest that true instincts ever vanish, they can get a little rusty, let's call it, perhaps not as sharp, just like anything else, without being put into practice, Things can start to fade a bit, and a cat coming face to face with the great outdoors for the first time, it could be very difficult. Not to mention that other cats, cats familiar with the outdoor life, will likely be some of the first to take advantage of this new cat on the scene. The house cat, let's call it the spoiled house cat, would have a very difficult time surviving without the essentials that have long been provided by the human family. This is just the truth. Hunt for my own food? Well, I thought it just came in a can and they called me over to eat it. While cats, they are in fact built for the storm. If a cat has been relieved of facing that storm and lives inside a home with all the wonderful comforts of a pampered life, that feline, they'll naturally become much more dependent on that human touch. It's not exactly breaking news to say that some cats need humans far more than others, just like some people need the love and care of other people far more than others. Cats that were born into the good life, if that's all they've ever known, attempting to face life on their own without the assistance of humans would certainly be incredibly difficult. In fact, odds are a cat in this circumstance would probably meet a tragic end before they'd be able to fully adjust to life on their own, presumably in the great outdoors. In short, the better you have it from the get-go, and the longer you have it, the harder it will become to live life all alone. Now on the flip side, cats that have never known the good life they can survive without humans because, frankly, you can't miss something that you've never had. 
This is where our topic question really comes into focus. Cats that have never known life other than probably living the solitary life or perhaps hanging out with other cats in the woods, they are built for the storm more than any other. How do we know this to be true? Well, here's your answer. Cats are everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I'm not talking about your neighbor's cat wandering around. I'm talking about feral cats, street cats. They are all over the place, and the vast majority, they're not kittens. This is possible because cats know how to take care of themselves. They also know how to get in good with other cats and move in packs if needed. Because while cats are solitary creatures, and they learn to move and shake on their own, cats in the wild, they know how to form social communities. And you see this quite often with feral cats. A cat running around with other cats isn't all that uncommon. Strength in numbers can work if there is trust. As cat owners, it's all about providing the essentials, food, water, shelter. If a cat has that, they at the very least have the basics covered. Felines, when left alone, they can solve those problems on their own. Yes, even that house cat. And while, as I mentioned, it would be quite difficult to get used to life without the assistance and the love of humans, even the house cat knows how to stalk, hunt, and capture prey. They know how to find water, and cats are quite crafty, so they can find shelter. As long as the house cat still has those claws, they'll be able to handle the basics, although it will be a shaky ride at first. When looking at the big picture, the core issue here involves basically mother nature and predators. Cats are both predator and prey. This means they are always on the lookout for both. And when you couple that with harsh weather conditions and perhaps the interference of humans from time to time, often, unfortunately, in the form of motor vehicles, life on the land can be tough for a cat even if they're able to do their part when it comes to those survival skills. Can cats survive by themselves? Yeah, they've got the tools to do it, but hey, our job as loving cat owners is to do our part and make sure they don't have to live alone. Open your door, open your heart, and enjoy the benefits and joy that feline ownership can bring to your life. Right? Am I right? I think I'm right. <laughs> to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, my question for this video is as follows. Is your cat, that lovely feline that is currently sound asleep on your sofa, was, were they, you know, living off the land prior to finding a forever home in your care? Was your cat born in the great outdoors? Did Mama Cat choose your property to deliver? Did you take in the kittens and add them to your family? It happens all the time. That's my story. Was your cat once upon a time surviving all alone before you came calling to save them? If that is your story, please share in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.